Hello everyone. Welcome to the new module Introduction to IntelliJ. So in this module, we will be mainly focusing on the pre-steps that are required before we start writing our, our source codes in Java. Okay. So this uh, IntelliJ, it is, it is a powerful tool. This IntelliJ ID is one of the most powerful tool that supports Java. And it has lots of features and lots of functions which is impossible to cover it in this one video, okay? We are going to cover the very basic ones in this module. And for the remaining functions of the IntelliJ, we will cover it by the time that we learn more and more new Java topics, okay? But first, make sure that you already have watched the previous module's videos to install the JDK and, and the IntelliJ ID, those softwares. So once you finish installing those softwares, if you have installed the IntelliJ for the Mac, uh, for the Mac users, if you go to your launch pad, you should see this IntelliJ IDE, the community edition. Okay. Another way that you can uh, uh, you can see the applications that are installed in your computer is go to this finder, and then click this applications. In the applications, make sure that you do have this IntelliJ IDE community edition. And I would recommend you to put it in the dock for the easier access so that the next time you just need to click it to access it. Okay. And for the Windows users, it's also the same. After you finish installing your IntelliJ IDE in the search, uh, in, the, in the start menu here, search for the IntelliJ. Okay. It should give you the IntelliJ Community Edition. So I would uh, I would recommend you to right click it and pin it to the, into the taskbar, so that next time you can just click it to to open your IntelliJ. And you could also uh, create a desktop shortcut in the Windows operating system. So after you search for IntelliJ IDE, once it gives you this option, the IntelliJ IDE Community Edition, right click it, and you do have this option called Open File Location. It takes you to the directory that this uh, this application is in, and then you need to right-click this application, and and then you need to uh, you need to go to the send to, and select the desktop. Okay, so now you have uh, the shortcut for the desktop, and you also have it in the taskbar. So next time you can click click either one of them to open the IntelliJ. Okay, so once you uh, once you put them in the dock or taskbar for the Windows users, please click the IntelliJ. This is the welcome window of the IntelliJ, what, what the welcome window of IntelliJ looks like. When you first open the IntelliJ, since it's the first time that you are using IntelliJ, it takes you to the welcome window. For the Windows users, it's also going to be the same. Once you open the IntelliJ, it takes you to this welcome window okay and from the welcome window you see uh, on on the left panel you have the options like project customize plugin learn uh, I would uh, I would recommend you to change the theme color of the IntelliJ to the new UI theme okay the we need to set the UI of the IntelliJ there is a new UI uh, theme color that is introduced which is much more uh, user-friendly so to do that, you need to click this Customize and select this option, All Settings. Click the All Settings button. Once you do that, it will take you to the Preference window. For the Windows users, uh, when you click this All Settings from the Customize, it takes you to the Settings window, which is the same as the Preference window. Okay, In the, in the Preference window, you have the Appearance, key map, editor, plugin, etc. all those settings. We go to the appearance from there. And from the appearance, please expand this appearance uh, and then select this appearance option here. And from the appearance option, uh, you see here you do have this new UI. Under this appearance and behavior, you have this new UI. I want you to check this box, enable new UI, and click this apply button. It will ask you to restart the IntelliJ if you want to enable this new user interface. 
Uh, please enable this new user interface. It is much more friendlier. It has better interaction. Okay, so it just restart the IntelliJ. And for the for the Windows users, you should also do the same. Uh, under this appearance and behaviors, go to this new UI. We we will enable this beta version of the UI. Click apply button and restart the IntelliJ afterwards. So after you restart the IntelliJ window, you see the the UI now looks a little different than the previous UI. Okay. So that's it for this video. In this in the next video, we will talk about how we can create a new project in IntelliJ. And and then we will also talk about some other settings of the IntelliJ. Thank you so much. See you all in the next video.